Okay, so the conduction system of the heart is such that the sinoatrial node leads to the release of electrical impulses, causing the depolarization of the atria, and hence the contraction of atria. And the depolarization or the electrical signals eventually reach the atrioventricular node and go down the the um, bundle of his um, to the Purkinje fibres, leading to the contraction of the ventricles. That's how it's meant to work. However, what happens with um, with arrhythmias is that you've got abnormalities of the electrical conduction system of the heart. So arrhythmias are unusual in children compared to uh, with adults. But the most common um, arrhythmia is a supraventricular tachycardia. So what occurs here is that we ha- essentially have an accessory pathway. So, so we have a connection which is not meant to be there, which is between the atria and the ventricles. So, so it, it the Purkinje fibers go on here, and then we, there you go. We have this this area here which connects the the electrical area here which connects the atrium ventricle so what what happens when that occurs is that you get um a tachycardia so this causes episodic tachycardia with severe palpitations and severe um a dizziness so vagal maneuvers can be tried to convert um the heart back into sinus rhythm that's normal rhythm so that can include carotid massage uh, and the valsalva maneuver and cardioversion with drugs such as adenosine or synchronized uh, DC uh, shock can be tried out. Uh, so in recurrent cases, e.g. with Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, um, radio ablation of the aberrant electrical pathway can lead to a complete cure.